Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I just wanted to show you a new stitch that I'm working on. I am setting up right now to do the open V stitch on this basket. I think that it will look like bird's wings. So to set up for it, from what I've read, I need a V stitch, just a regular V stitch. And if you don't know how to do a V stitch, I'll show you really quick. It's clear around here in the pink. So I'm going about a half an inch apart right now because I want the V's to really show. So to do a V-stitch, you just go down in the top of your top of your row below. Then you go through a second time in the same spot and that creates a V-stitch. Now this is a wrapped row that I'm working with. So if you are working on a regular row with a basic stitch, you could just go through the stitch like you normally do. I'm setting them up about a half an inch apart. So let me show you again. To create the V-stitch, moving over about a half an inch and going through the wrap row. So you go through where you're gonna place your stitch once, and then you go back through the same hole a second time. I use this stitch a lot when I'm starting a basket on my first row because it really solidifies it and holds it down. So see there, just go through the same hole twice and it creates the V-stitch. So the next row I will show you, I will be setting up to do the open V-stitch, which is a little bit different. I just learned about it. Thanks for watching. Okay, we are working on the open V-stitch. So on the first row of the pink, we did a regular V-stitch, just going through the same hole twice. Then on the second pink row, we created the chain stitch all the way around, and we went through the middle of the initial V-stitch, right in here. Completed the chain stitch all the way around. Then we went the opposite way, coming back through the same hole, and that created that open V. See how that's it's a little bit different than the regular V. So after I got all the way around with the pink, I decided to go back to the turquoise because it's a little brighter and you might be able to see what I'm doing a little easier. So we are going back to front and we're coming up in the middle of the previous row of the open V-stitch. So right about here, come up right in the middle. Okay, then we're gonna go up and over. Now see how that turquoise comes right up in the middle of that V-stitch. Back to front. I know it's gonna be right about here, will be the middle. Now the only issue I have with this V-stitch, the open V-stitch, is you're told to pierce the pine needles. And I was taught not to pierce the pine needles when I was initially taught this craft because I was told it weakens them. So I, I think this will hold together just fine. This is an old stitch that many people have used and it's worked just fine. But um, it just kind of goes against my grain because I'm accustomed to not piercing the pine needles. 
So here we go. Back to front. Come up in the middle of the open V below. Pull it through. Up and over again. So we're just setting up for the open V. Back to front. Come up in the middle of that open V. And this is the chain stitch. And we're going to the right, and then we're gonna turn around and go to the left. And I'll show you that as we get further. So, so you could see how we're coming up right in the middle of the open V, not like a regular V stitch where it's in the same hole and it would have been up above differently. I'll do one more, back to front. It's right about here, I'm just trying to gauge it. We wanna come right up in the middle of that open V and you're going to pierce the coils because I don't think you could do it otherwise. Up and over. And I'll just continue in that fashion with this bright turquoise blue. It'll be easier to see than the pink, I think. So chain stitch all the way around and then I'll get back with you when I get that far. So we are continuing on working on the open V stitch. So in the previous video, I showed you how to do a chain stitch all the way around. Basically you're coming up, doing the chain stitch all the way around your row and you're coming up in the middle of the open V stitch below. And once you've completed all the way around in your chain stitch, you're gonna go back the other way, the opposite way of which you went. You're gonna come from back to front again. And I know on here, whereabouts, I'm gonna come up. I'm just trying to come up right in the same spot that I created the chain stitch in. Otherwise, they're gonna look off center, etc. So see that? Up and over, back to front. I know I have to come up right about there. Nope, see, it's hard. You gotta get it right in that. Try to get it in the same hole or even, um, if you're using raffia, it looks really good if you're splitting the thread. So I'm right in the same hole, but I wanna get really close. Back to front, come up in the same hole that you made with your chain stitch. So now that starts creating the open V on the top row. And the turquoise, I think you could see a little bit better. So let me just show you that again. Take your thread up and over. Now I was working on this in San Carlos and I ran out of thread. I just took a little bit with me because I was only down there for a few weeks and I didn't think I'd get that far, but luckily I got to sit on the beach and work on these crafts. So, and then in bringing it back, my pine needles got a little tore up, but I'll fix that, it'll be fine. So just carrying items back and forth across the border is kind of a pain, but okay. So I know I want to come up right in this same spot from back to front. And in my basket, I kind of know it's just to the side of that pink thread. And that's very close. So as I've mentioned in my previous videos on working on this stitch, I'm not used to going through the pine needles. And this stitch, the book clearly says to go through the pine needles. So you're piercing the pine needles back To front, let's see, I think it's probably going to be, I'm guessing right now. There, oh, that's pretty close. Piercing the pine needles. 
same hole or as close as you can get to the previous chain stitch. So I really like this blue. This is actually Robin's egg. It looks turquoise, but it's Robin's egg. Um, yeah, it is kind of turquoise. But I really like it because you could see what's happening better. I'm losing my little string here. So see, V-stitch on this first row here. Open V here because we pierced it the needles in the middle of the V, chain stitch, and then you back stitch and come through the same hole. We did the same thing with the turquoise. So as your basket is getting bigger and you're adding coils to it, these are gonna open up more. So the second row of this turquoise blue is gonna be very pretty. So I'll show you that one more time in case you didn't get it. I might be overkill, but some, Sometimes the more times you see it, the easier it is. Back to front and try to come up in that same hole that you created the chain stitch through. Okay. Now I will go all the way around and we will start our second row of turquoise by creating the chain stitch again. So if my voice is a little hoarse, I've just been traveling for a couple of days and I'm just a little worn out, but um, this is a little relaxing to me to be able to just work on my baskets and teach a new stitch. So thanks for watching. I'll keep going and show you as we progress and what it looks like with the open V stitch, looking like some little bird's wings. So we're gonna have at least two rows of blue here. Thanks for watching.